Hello everyone, I'm Jen of Jenna Crafts. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a simple slouchy beanie on the Centro 48 pin knitting machine. A lot of you probably got this for Christmas recently. It is also New Year, so Happy New Year. The first video of 2023. I apologize if you hear my fiance next door. He is currently streaming a video game right now, so I apologize. Um, so today, the materials that you will be using is Central 48 Knitting Machine. Um, it is preferred if you are making an adult hat. I'll let you know how many rows we are going to be doing. This is one I am, I have made and also have been using for about a year now. <laughs> so it was obviously very used, very worn out already, but this is what it looks like when you have constantly used it. And I will show you how to use it uh, in just a moment. You will need scissors, you will need this tool, I don't know what it is, I this came with my knitting machine, you will need it to uh, pick up the uh, the tuck stitches and the and the uh, in the machine when uh, when it's about to get tucked. And then the yarn I am using is this color, I believe it's called Citron from Impeccable, from Michaels. So I have two cakes of it, which is pretty much I think one skein of it. They're pretty small, or it could be this. This could be one skin. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But um, so when you're making an adult size like like me, well, actually, I'm like almost like a teenager size. I have a pretty small head. So this this black one that I made is 120 rows. So um, that's my size. Now with hats, it's literally just trial and error. So you, I, the first time I tried it, it was 110 rows. It was a little too small for my head. So if you have a big head, I would go maybe about 130 rows. 140 rows. Don't ask me why um, the rows, the bigger the rows, because you can, you can, essentially you can, um, you know, fold up your, um, fold up your hat to make it, you know, with a brim. I personally don't like the brim look, but uh, you can if you also want to. Like I said, this is just for a slouchy beanie tutorial. So um, let's get started. We're going to cast on, which by the way, you will not need, um, you will not need any um, waste yarn for this. So we're gonna cast on about, give yourself a nice, a nice decent tail. There we go. So we're gonna go in, out. So make sure you are going in and out. There we go, just gotta get my grip, I apologize. So when you're casting on, you wanna make sure that you are going in and out of the rows, like this. There we go. And then when you're all done, Put the yarn, I put mine in the middle tension row, not the last one or the tightest one because it'll just be way, way, way too loose or way too tight. You want to make sure you give a lot of loose. Your yarn is pretty loose when you're spinning. So I just put, I just pulled a bunch of yarn and put it on the ground. So yeah, um, and then when you're casting on, it's going to go to one. Make sure you reset that <laughs> or else your count is off. All right, so we're going to get started. You're just going to keep spinning. First couple rows, you want to go a little bit slower. You want to like, boop, there you go. And we're literally just doing this for however many rows you're doing. So like I said, for an adult, I am pretty small, I have a pretty small head, so I make my hats about 120 rows. But if I was making one for my fiance, I would say, he's got a pretty big head, so I would say maybe about 140 rows. If you're making it for, I've never really made a child hat before. I have to do some trial and error for that, but I would say maybe about like 90 rows or 100 rows, depending on what type of style hat you are trying to make. So yeah, when you're cranking your rows, just be careful of the tuck stitches. 
my machine does make a little bit of noise, so I do apologize. I've had this for about a year and a half now. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on cranking rows until I reach about, let's say about halfway. So I'm gonna do 120 rows um, of my preferred size. So I will be right back with you guys when I get to about 50 rows. I'm at six right now, about to be on seven. So I will be right back with you guys. All right, everyone, I just made it to row 60. I know I said I was gonna go to row 50, but this is literally the halfway point of the hat size that I am making. So like I said before, I am doing 120 rows. Um, working with this yarn has been okay lately. I'm not gonna lie. I have I have one tuck stitch so far, unfortunately, that I missed. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. It's gonna be hidden in the project anyway. So we'll talk about that later when we cast off and, uh, and cinch our hat closed. But also like I've caught maybe about uh, four stitches in time before it was completely in the round so i'm pretty happy about that that's why this tool is very handy for stuff like that so you want to catch it in time before the, the the pin completely goes down into the row so yeah this is where i'm currently at right now in the hat it's very soft so i can't wait to try this on so the next the next um clip we'll be doing is on as um uh, uncasting our hat and then i'll show you how to cinch it close can't wait for that i'm excited i'm excited for the try on too because this color is super pretty <laughs> all right see you in a bit okay so i just hit 120 rows so now what you're gonna do you're gonna leave yourself a really big tail at this point in time make sure your tail is pretty long because we're about to cinch our we're going to cast off now yeah okay there we go all done that should be big enough by the way this is how much i have left in my cake so that's almost about a screen of yarn of, a, of impeccable yarn i believe okay so here's what we're going to do i cast off slowly just so i make sure i get all of the stitches so what you're going to do this is how i do it if you can see so I'm going to, where I cast off from the last stitch right here, you're going to go underneath and loop in the stitch. I'm going to see if I can, like, maybe zoom in for you all so you can see what you, so what I'm doing. Let's see if I can do that. Oops, that's zoom out. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. I zoomed in. Okay. Let me just see if I can, like, move over a little bit. All right, that's, that's that's it. I'll get there. So now next stitch. You're just going to pull through. Not too tight. You don't want to go too tight. So again, go slowly. Especially when you're first starting off, you definitely want to go very slowly. Okay. Again. Boop. There we go. Pull. Sometimes I... Sometimes I do two at a time, just to be a little bit quicker, since I am a little bit more confident in my stitches. Sometimes it's a little hard to pick up the stitch. There we go. You want to make sure that's completely underneath. There we go. And you're going to go all the way around slowly. After you do the- I do it by section, so that's why like, when I do it, I do it until I get to about here. And again, so sorry you are hearing my fiancé talking in the background. If you hear it, I do apologize. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. This is like the only time I'm able to record this. Because, uh, you know, I kind of wasted my day away since I work nights. 
and I'm recording like right before I go to work, so I do apologize. This is like the only time I can do this. Okay, so I just reached it, so now I'm going to take my time. Okay, and again, we're gonna keep going, do this by section, do it very slowly. Make sure you get underneath. This is going to take time. So I will be right back with you guys and then we're gonna, and then I'm gonna show you how to cinch your hat together. Oh goodness. I think I messed up a little bit. See what happens when you get a little ahead of yourself? So you see what happened here? I got a little messed up here. Honestly, I don't think you'll even see that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you'll even see that in the hat, so. <laughs> Good thing this is my personal one and not one I'm selling, so. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you back in just a few minutes. All right, I just finished casting off my hat. So now what you're gonna do is that we have this big long tube. We're going to stretch it out like this. Keep stretching it out. You're gonna have a big long tail. That's okay. Okay, so this is where we started off. So this is where we started off. So what you're gonna do here is that you're just gonna pull it. It's already already like in the hoop, so we didn't have to do that. But um, the casting off part, so it's already, so you just have to pull it. Do it gently. Make sure you're make sure it's all Yeah, make sure it's doesn't look weird. So you just want to keep pulling. You'll start to see it form. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it's got to be nice and neat for my standards, so. Okay, there we go. See, we're almost there looking like a hat. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to take your needle and we're going to sew in to make it extra tight. So I sew it in like this. sew it into this it's going on the inside like anyway so you're not going to be able to see this oh be careful when you're uh doing this with the machine in front of you okay so then we're all done. I like to put it on the inside. Boom. So now I flip it inside out. I know it's a very long process from here. Okay, so here's our piece. Just do it just do it one more time and then we cut it 
Okay, so that's the inside. So now you're going to do the other side. Same thing. Literally the same side that we uh, cast off with. So you want to do it very easily. Uh, it's a little hard to do it with the string like this. I say string, it's freaking yarn. What am I saying? Oh, see, look, there's that loose piece that we uh, that we messed up before. So we're going to make sure that's hidden into our piece. And no one's going to notice that we made a mistake. <laughs> No one will notice. No one will know. No one's gonna know. Now it reminds me of that TikTok. How will they know? Nobody's gonna know. Ah, there we go. Look, you really can't even tell that you made a mistake. <laughs> you honestly cannot tell that you made a mistake. <laughs> like, look at that. Where's your mistake? Where is it? Unless you actually point it out, they're not going to know. So I'm just going to cut this excess yarn already because this is just way too much. There we go. Okay, you're going to get your needle again, do the same exact thing as we did on the other side. Literally the same exact thing. Okay, so since it's going this way, we're gonna do the other way. There we go. There we go. Actually, wait, uh-uh, there we go. Just cinch it up as much as you can, and then I put it in, and then I just kind of stick it out. No one will literally know. done. We're going to cut it. And now we close our tube. So now we have a tube here. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to put this on the inside. Whichever side you prefer. If you have if you have more mistakes on the other side, I would do the other side like I did. <laughs> But really, you can't even really tell that I made, made a mistake, like, anywhere. What I should have actually done... I usually tie the... I, t I usually tie the, the string together, but I already did it on the inside, so that was my boo-boo. But what you're actually supposed to do is just tie it together. Just so it won't come apart but yeah there we go and you pretty much have a hat you pretty much have a hat and we're going to try it on but what honestly what if you want you can literally just take the extra access yarn and just tie it together on the inside that's what i would that's what i would do if you really want to do that we'll do that just take a long piece of yarn Thank you. 
And then we're just going to pretend that we have an extra string So what I usually do is that I take that piece of string and I take and I make and I put them together. I make sure I get it in between the I get it in the hole here. It's a little hard to say. I'm trying to get it in the hole. You want to try and get it like in this hole here when you're doing it. So that's what I'm literally trying to do on the inside right now. <laughs> that's what I'm literally trying to do as I'm showing you right now. So you can either watch me struggle for a little bit, or you can just fast forward until I, you can literally just fast forward it until I get it actually in there, until I tie it up. That's up to you, whatever you want to do. If you want to watch me struggle, that's totally up to you. But I'm just showing you how it really is being a crafter. We all make mistakes. See? We all make mistakes here. We're not perfect. There we go. Got it. See? And then I just kind of put it back in. See, like I said, you got to really be careful. You got to be careful when you're crafting especially around the machine. Oh boy, we have a bit of yarn barf going on here. So we're just going to tie this on the inside now. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. This is so chaotic. I am sorry, but this is literally how it is. Especially when we're first learning. It's This is real. We all make mistakes. We literally all make mistakes. So literally, you can put it on the inside, outside, whatever side you prefer. See? Nobody's gonna know. And this is your purse. This is like a personal hat anyway. So like, no one's literally gonna know. <laughs> anyway, let's finally try it on. Here's the hat we just made. <laughs> no one's gonna know the mistake. Look. See, 120 rows is perfect for my head. It's literally perfect. I like it like this. And if you really want to, fold it over. You can fold it over if you want. What do you think? We have a green hat now. Anyway, um... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic video of seeing what a real crafter looks like, making lots of mistakes, not being perfect all the time. Hope you enjoyed that. We it Practicing makes perfect. Come on. Just with the knitting machine, it's trial and error. I was not perfect when I first did it either. So like you get you, you you'll get the hang of it. I promise if you're new with it, you're going to get it.
I promise. <laughs> anyway, I have some non-mistaken hats for sale on my Etsy website if you are looking to purchase some hats. I have some nice colors if you'd like. If you are looking for hats, uh, link is in my description. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!